G'day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to the 30th episode in our Aston Villa career mode series for FIFA 19. 10 games remaining in the Premier League season. It is a big few videos coming up, but if you do go on to enjoy today's episode, make sure you leave a like on the video and also make sure you bloody Scorpion kick that subscribe button down below. Today's in episode is an interesting one. We are in the match, the May of the, Ma wow, the month of March. Great start, but we are versing Wolverhampton at home, West Ham at home, but you do see there's only two games in this month. So what I will be doing, I will be playing the game against Fulham away at Craven Cottage in April. I not only like to do one month an episode, but when there's two games, I'm sure you guys can appreciate that. Top four is well and truly still alive heading into today's episode though. We are sitting only one point behind Chelsea. They do have a game in hand, so we're hoping they drop points. United and City breathing down our necks. We can't afford to drop any points. A youth squad monthly report to kick things off though, Peter Green starting to get his shit together, which is good to see. Could probably promote him, but I might wait until he asks to leave Harrison Evans. Gilles Dupont, sorry mate, you are gone. I was gonna keep the faith, but he's not looking great. Brent not looking great. Mason Rose is looking like a bit of a weapon. And Janssen still 80 to 88, so he is already, he was a kind of a bit of a sidekick to Brent, but now he looks so much better than Brent. And a youth squad report available Financially, I think this might be the final month, so I might be leaving some talent on the table, which I would not be happy about. This guy looks like a weapon. Uh, let me auto-adjust it so I can sign him. Yep, we can afford to sign him. Don't know if I can afford to sign anybody else. So I'm looking at their current overalls because that's generally a good indicator. Brent Goosens looks all right. Anybody else that really stands out? Not at all. Is this the final month? It is, all right, so I need to sign some players. Victor Geelan looks all right, but he's 17. Florian Janssens, I'm gonna sign him. Who else are we gonna sign? Do we sign Brent Goosens? We may as well. We're we gonna leave the rest of these guys here. I'm probably leaving some talent on the table, but we are gonna leave them all in the scouting network. So best of luck to all of them. A new man coming in here, Verstrata has he looks like a bit of a weapon, doesn't he? He's 63 rated already, so he's gonna replace Tom Davies in the drills. We're gonna keep Hudson and Doy, but the rest of them will be youngsters. We're gonna simulate all the drills. Janssen's going up to a 56 rating. Ferrari going as well. Into the gameplay we go, however, at home against Wolves. We're coming off the back of a pretty embarrassing loss to Southampton, which was at the end of last episode. So we need to start to get back to winning ways here especially with constant pressure from both Manchester teams. They are so close to us. So yeah, we're the hunted right now. We need to push forward. We do have the best home record in the Premier League, however. So hopefully we can continue that trend here. Taking a look at our starting 11, however, and it's no surprise, we are rocking the same side that we have been rocking ever since Townsend and Maximilian Philip came back to full strength. It's the side that I hope we get the opportunity to rock for the rest of the season for the final 10 games, but it's a damn good starting lineup. Now taking a look at the Wolves starting lineup, Rui Patricio in between the sticks. They are rocking a five at the back. Johnny, Do Doherty, uh, Bolly, all those players. They've got Roman Saiz in there with Lopez and Jao Moutinho, Jota and Lauren up front. On the bench, do they have anybody good? Not really, Antonio, Mia, it's an all right bench. Doherty. And Emerson were going back and forth for it. Oh dear. Keep that one out. Oh, Ryan. That was a heart attack moment to start things off. Another corner here for Wolves. They've started off strong. Jean Moutinho going in there. Davies can't win the ball back. Bolly giving us a bit of a heart attack. Shite. We're in a bit of strife here. Wolves have come out fast. That's not a good angle. Fuck off, Matt Ryan. You're getting fucking sold. Stop getting beaten at the near post. Oh, we have been beaten at the near post so many times this season. Honestly, Ryan, you are gone. You're one of my favorite players in real life, but you are getting fucking sold next season. Again, beaten at the near post. How the fuck are we getting beaten? Oh, not good. Look. You're a goalkeeper. How the hell can you be, 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 oh, be getting beaten at the near post so many times? You're done, mate. You're done. 
Well, was defending very well here, but we're finally pushing forward again. We haven't lost possession in a long time. Davies hits it. Philip, follow up one all. Yes, lads, just like that. We have equalized here. Maximilian Philip polishes off what was some nice possessional play. And we have equalized here rapidly. That's exactly what we wanted. We focused up and we have got ourselves an equalizer. Got lucky with the bounce. It fell straight to Philip. Finally, a bit of luck going our way, and we make it 1-1. Look at this finish. Little gallop, puts his boot through it. Fantastic. Oh, they're on the attack here. Jota, Sace. That would have been a bad way to start the second half if we conceded. But we might be able to change our fortune around because we are on the attack here. Beautiful play between Hudson and Doy and Grealish. Hudson and Doy. We're just going to have the shot. We green time, and it falls to Philip again. Lady Luck is on Maximilian Phillips' side. The second goal where he has had it fall to him off a rebound. That is so nice to see. We have not played that well, but somehow we are grinding out a 2-1 advantage here. Hudson and Doyle, I went for the shot with him. It was saved off the feet. Great finish from that angle though, to be fair. I want to see a reverse angle. This angle will suffice. Kind of turns the body at the last second to find the back of the net. We go Philip to Grealish to Davies to Philip. Philip Green times it. It's an absolute rocket, but it's saved from Patricio. I kind of want to get Maxi Philip a hat trick of deflected goals. Through to Davies. Davies. I wanted to go to Grealish. Still on though. Grealish going out. We've got numbers here. Hudson Adoy is on side. What the fuck? That was a shot. I didn't try to pull that one. I tried to shoot that one. It looked like he was squaring it. What? Make up for it, Hudson Adoy, please. Townsend, first time. Nope. We're trying to hold on, lads. 89th minute. We just need to retain possession. How much stoppage time? Two minutes. That is manageable for sure. Play the safe option and continue to progress it forward. Emerson. Go on him again. We're going to win this game now, lads. I don't know how we've won this game. Oh, shit. Maybe not. Okay, there it is. I got a little bit worried. But we hang on. And get all three points here after a very lackluster start. We got our act together quite quickly and gained another three crucial points. Good news though, lads. Our super sub, Ito, has returned from his injury. So he should be able to make the bench of the game against West Ham. And another training session here. Rose has gone up to a 67. A lot of growth potentially for the players here though. Nobody, wow, okay, nobody goes up in overall. Bs and Cs all across the board. It looks like my high school report card. <laughs> Let's go, lads. We look to use our home ground advantage to us, our advantage once again as we take on West Ham here. I'm pretty happy because at the start of the series, like episode one, I said I wanted to make Villa Park a fortress. Best Premier League record at home. It's becoming a real fortress for us. It wasn't a fortress for us when we were in the championship or even last season, but this season we've locked it down. And speaking of locking it down, we have a chance to put ourselves into the top four. We, are, we have a game in hand ahead of Manchester City. They're one point ahead of us. We win, we go to the top four. But of course, Chelsea and sides like that have a game in hand over us. So it'll be interesting. But here is our starting 11. Same starting 11 as we have been rocking. But the big talking point is Ito coming back into the bench fold. I have brought him in. And O'Hare has returned to the reserves. West Ham with quite a respectable lineup, however. Kalinic! Oh shit, Kalinic! Our former goalkeeper in between the sticks for West Ham. This will be interesting. Declan Rice in there as well. Yamalenko, Fernandez, Felipe Anderson. It's a very strong midfield. And then Arcadius Milic up front. He is a gun striker. A strong bench as well are Nordovic, Lanzini, Reid, Wilshire. We are on the attack early here. Come on. Kickoff Kings. Are we going to be the Kickoff Kings again? Ah, I should have gone in the middle to Hudson Adoy and just hope for the best. But we're still through here. Come on. Drag back. Townsend. Get your head to it, Hudson Adoy. Ah, oh, corner. We still haven't lost possession, however. Grealish off the corner. Get your head to it, Hudson Adoy. It's punched away from Kalinic, who's on the deck. Emerson, a block. That surely would have seen us go 1 0 up. Was this shot on target? Was it? It was. It hit the ass of Rice. Or, oh, sorry, Diop, but it would have been saved anyways, I think. 
Come on, that's Philip. Grealish, they're linking up. Come on, we're all over them so far. Hudson Doyle with a slight little injury. Has a shit touch and a red time finish. Oh, if we green time that, I think we get it past Kalinic and go 1 0 up here. I could have. Nah, I was going to say I could have squared it, but the shot was the best option. Oh, Fernandez through Milik. Good save at the near post from Matt Ryan. About damn time he saved one at the near post. It was a stumbling effort, but it saved us nonetheless. Corner. Here we go. Hudson Adoy through. Yes, good stuff from Maximilian Philip. Get that ball in. Get there, Grealish. Jack Grealish. Oh, no. Kalinic. Oh, Kalinic has pulled off a miracle save. Of all goalkeepers, it had to be him. Oh, it's still on, though. Hudson Adoy tackled. Fuck, man. All right, we are going to make a substitution here. Hudson Adoy still has that injury from earlier in the game. So we're going to bring Ito on. Can Ito get us a breakthrough? Just over 20 minutes remaining in this one. Here we go, McGinn. Going out wide to Ito. Come on, lads. Who's going to get the breakthrough here? Ito going there. I see Davies. Oh, it's a shocker of a ball. Bloody hell. I think even if it got through the defense, it wasn't going to find the foot of Davies. And honestly, our last passes have killed us today. And now West Ham find themselves on the attack. They've got the height. Thankfully, Yarmolenko doesn't have the range. West Ham really turning on the Jets here in the last few moments. Philippe Anderson and Gilbert going neck and neck. They send that one back post. It goes through everybody. I think if Yarmolenko collects, connects with that, we, are, we would have been in real strife there. But now, oh, I was about to say, we have an opportunity on the counter. But ultimately, it's going to end a nil-all draw, a stalemate. And our fantastic opportunity to move into the top four has been squandered. Thankfully, Hudson Odoi's injury isn't too bad, though. Only after five days with a bruised elbow. Hudson Odoi's injury opens the door here for Lars Lucas May. I'll probably start training him a lot more. I completely forgot to even put him in there from the start. But a pretty trash training session in total. Youth player wants out. Florian Janssens wants to cancel his contract. Hope we can afford to sign him. I haven't been smart with my finances in this saver. I've been pushing it to the to the brink. Florian Janssens, he's one of the good players, wasn't he? 77 and 94, we have to bring him up. We've got so many right mids now, but he's a good player. We promote him to the senior team. We've got another Janssens in here as well, Gabriel Janssens, but it was Florian that wanted out. I mean, it was, wasn't it? Florian? Florian? Yeah, okay, good. Florian Janssens. <laughs> another youth player wants out, Peter Green. Is it the A-League referee? If you watched A League, you know what I'm talking about. But Peter Green wants out uh, 80 to 86. Yep, we'll sign him for sure. Welcome to the senior teammate. But for the final game in today's episode, we are traveling to Craven Cottage. It's a special day for me, a special game for me. For the first time in this series, we face Fulham at Craven Cottage, the team I support. But I'm not going to be taking them easy. Let's get this win. Like I said, lads, no mercy will be shown. No favoritism will be shown. I want to get three points on the board here at the beautiful Craven Cottage. I mean, my heart's melting at the moment. But we have our own goal, our own objective. It still pisses me off that they come out of the middle of Craven Cottage. There's no tunnel in the middle of the stadium. The tunnel's in the goddamn corner. I can't believe it's May and FIFA. That's still in FIFA. But anyways, we have a game in hand here. So if we do win, we will go ahead of Chelsea, Man United, and Man City and get into the top four. A big game. So here we go. Here is the Fulham starting 11. Fabrizio is starting in between the sticks. Timothy Fosu, Mensa, Saar, Mawson, and Joe Bryan. they got Johansson as the captain and Sari. Where's Tom Kearney gone? Tom Kearney not there. they got Zaniolo. That's a big signing. Ryan Sessegnon and Mitro. Mitro, my bold brother. And a slight little change for our starting lineup. It is all the same, except I have given Ferrari a start over John McGinn. Every time he pops up in London, he seems to have a fantastic game. So hopefully we can continue that trend here. Here we go, Grealish. Going to Philip. Going here. Davies. Green times it, but it's saved from Fabrizio. It's a nice ball through Zaniolo. They turn the defender at the back post. <gasps> what the fuck happened there? Was that a shot or was that a save? All I know is Markovic got his head onto it at the tightest of angles. Here we go. Beautiful stuff. We're going to play the advantage. Hudson-Odoi squaring that. Grealish, it goes behind him. It was Philip. 
It went behind him. What a squandered opportunity. Oh my god! What? Ryan said... I'm sorry, what? What was that goal? I wasn't talking because I didn't think anything was going to come of it. Fosu Mensa swings a banger of a ball. What the fuck are you doing, Gilbert? What are you doing? Why did Gilbert slide? When I pressed A, why wouldn't you head that one? Ryan again beaten at the near post, but that's a belter of a finish. Gilbert, I have some, some serious questions. Number one, why? Number two, why? Number three, why the fuck? They are on the attack here, Fulham. Sessignon. They're trying to defend. Good stuff, Townsend. Oh, Sessignon still has the ball, though. Sessignon's on fire, honestly. They hit that one, and Stefan Johansson almost doubled Fulham's advantage. Oh, shit. Sessignon and Mitro linking up. It's one of my favorite things in the world, but not when it makes us go 2-0. Lazar Markovic doubles Fulham's advantage in the hammy end. I mean, why have we been so bad on the road this season? It's the same thing as last episode. So strong at home. And then we play the final game away, and we are getting absolutely slaughtered here. No inspiration, no passion being shown, and Fulham double their advantage again it's a sentence i usually would love to hear but not in this instance great ball great finish shite defending all right it's corner here ferrari is the party to whip this one in it's going to go to gilbert ball is one from urente we're going to go out to ferrari again a lot of fulham numbers there ferrari in oh philip Philip, Philip, Philip. That was the opportunity. We are going to make a substitution here. They're bringing off Johansson and bringing on Tom Kearney. We are taking off Ferrari and bringing on McGinn. Going back to our full strength starting 11. Seri. Oh, we know he can unleash a long range bomb. I'm trying to stop it. Mitro has hit the post. That would have been game set and match. Come on. Oh, look at Hudson Adoy there. Beautiful run, Hudson Adoy. Gonna okay, drag it back. I'm gonna square it. Philip! Oh, for fuck's sake, man! Just put it in the back of the net! It's another corner here, but my god, this has been discouraging. Goes in. Philip! Out! Grealish hits it. We've got a green time, though. He's far out. Far out, man. What a terrible way to end the episode. We had the perfect opportunity to get back into the top four and put things into our own hands, but we lose to Fulham. 2-0, and honestly, we just didn't make the most of our opportunities, and the, they did, that's the clear reason why they got the points here, that's the clear differentiator, I want to see the stats, because we, okay, they're fairly even, but they they made the most of theirs, we had six, shot and could, six shots, five on target, couldn't find the back of the net, frustrating end. But anyways, that concludes today's episode. Three massive games to kick off episode 31. Newcastle, Chelsea, Arsenal. I think next episode will really define our season. A great episode. We set ourselves up to finish high. But if we play like we did against Fulham, then we are absolutely screwed. But if you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you leave a like on the video. Make sure you Scorpion kick that subscribe button down below if you are new around here. Most importantly though, I hope you have a fantastic day. It's been Jared HD here. I am out. Peace.